What's up, guys? Just kind of wanted to take a moment and share a package I received in the mail today from a viewer, um, Jeremy Hines, who I want to thank. This is the you know second thing that he's he's gotten out to me in you know less than two weeks. So just the thought that you know he took the time to put something together and ship it out to me, you know, means the world to me, regardless of what's in here, um, what's in the package, what the contents, you know, I'm sure they're great, whatever it is, but it, it means a lot that, um, in the, this, these chaotic times where everything's a rush and a race and kind of this rat race that we live in, somebody actually, um, thought about me and getting something out to me. So it is, it is really special. Um, you know, this hobby and this kind of, this, this, um, community that we've formed and built and, 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 you know, have an opportunity to meet other people and chat and, and share and, and just kind of engage with others. It's, uh, it's a great thing that we've got going and something, you know, I really enjoy. And, um, I see even in the comments of my videos, I, uh, viewers chatting with other viewers and I love to see that just um a good spirit you know a good com community so it's awesome I'm going to share with you guys this package here so I, I spoke to Jeremy I, I kind of got the idea I know one of the things that are in here he sent me a sample of vintage Fahrenheit Vintage Fahrenheit came up in, in one of my videos with Christo recently and um, he thought it'd be gr great for me to smell. Oh man, I should have brought a box cutter. I don't have anything here. I'm not at home right now. But this looks like it's, it's, it's taped up with hockey tape. Jeremy must be a hockey player. I mean, he does live in Canada. I don't know what else there is to do. Besides play hockey and watch The Simpsons. Okay. <laughs> and it came in this nice two-on-two -two men, New York City. I'm guessing this is a Carolina Herrera. It is Carolina Herrera tester. Hmm. Okay, and I'm really curious. Because I, I know I know there's more than just a Fahrenheit sample in here. I can I can tell by the weight of the box. And I don't got anything else. I'll use the edge of this table here to break the tape. That usually works. Just kind of find a sharp corner. For a second here, I thought it was an avocado, just the way that looks. Quite interesting. You got a nice note, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read this out loud. I'm gonna uh, save this for myself. I'm sure he wouldn't want me to share this with the public. But you know, thank you so much, Jeremy. I do appreciate this. So we've got here a oops travel bag, Jeffrey Bean. I'm going to link um, Jeremy's Instagram to the bottom of this description. You guys can go check out his page. He said he's, he's, he's trying to start out looking for some niche, but he lives in a really remote part of Ontario, Canada, and it's hard to find. I'm guessing that's the um, Fahrenheit. Yes, Mom. Is Mom at home? Yeah, Mom's at home, bud. Oh, wow. And there is a, looks like a 120 mil of Jeffrey Bean Ray flannel. And it's interesting because I, I was messaging Christo about this the other day. I had smelt it in the store, but it was, it was definitely not this big. It was much smaller. I think it was half the size. Let's put some of this on. Oh, and you know what? It's so aromatic. 
and floral and rough. I kind of feel like there's got to be some lavender and some resins in here. It's very dry. I do like this, but I don't. I, I wouldn't imagine the general population would have much appreciation for gray flannel. And I'm not really sure what the consensus is on gray flannel. I've never really studied it. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Florals, lavender, dry, maybe some incense. I bet you this wears beautifully. It's the, the bottle's cut this kind of green Pilsner beer bottle color to it. I'm not sure what color the juice is. I'd love to know. But let's try the Fahrenheit. This kind of looks like a woman's, um, you know, um, yeah, a woman's toy kind of thing, which is cool. You know, I got nothing to post to women's toys or men's toys. I think everybody should have a toy or two. Let's put some of this on. That's definitely Fahrenheit, yes. And I had Fahrenheit Absolute on my channel last night. You know what? It smells a lot like my 2012 bottle. He doesn't say here what he, he says. It's a Dior Fahrenheit from his bottle. But he doesn't say the year. So I would say Dior Fahrenheit hasn't been changed all that much. Like, you know, maybe it's, it smells different in an actual wearing, but just off a of skin like this in the, in the first impressions, they're very similar. It's very dry, uh, spicy violets, hawthorn, honeysuckle. I get a lot of that spicy florals. It's got, you know, the petrol, that, that diesel mechanic or um, gasoline vibe, the exhaust going on. Anyway, it smells... It smells a lot like my Fahrenheit. I wouldn't even say they, they're, they're much different. I can't tell a huge difference. Anyway, just want to say um, thanks again, Jeremy, and um, everyone else watching. Thanks for watching. We will see you all again soon. Bye for now.